Hi again. Today for our math lesson, we're going to look at times tables again, and we're going to look at how groups of, because we know times tables is really just groups of, how groups of really just means repeated adding. So I'm going to do some examples here to show you what I mean. We're going to start with 3 times 3. So I'm going to draw my groups out. 3 groups with 3 inside. And as I mentioned, it's like repeated adding. We have to count up what's inside those groups. So it's really 3 plus 3 plus 3. And our answer is 3, 6, 9. Next example. How can we think of another times table as repeated adding? Let's try 4 times 2. Okay, so we draw 4 groups with 2 inside. So let's add those up. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. 4 times 2 is 2, 4, 6, 8. Let's do another one. Let's do 5 times 4. So let's do 5 groups. And we're going to put 4 in each group. And now we have to add that up. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Now if you need to count on your ruler or um, a hundreds chart to add that up, that's perfectly okay, but I know how to add these up. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 more is 12, plus 4 more is 16, and 4 more is 20. Okay, let's do an example of 2 times 6. So I draw my two groups and I put 6 in each. Six plus six. Remember how we were learn we were talking in an earlier lesson how the two times tables is like adding doubles or counting by twos. There you go. You can see that there in the example. So six plus six, two groups of six, is twelve. We'll do one more example. How about we do? Uh, 7 times 1. So we do 7 groups and we put 1 in each. So 1 plus 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 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Our answer is 7. So there you have it. A adding repeatedly helps us think about times tables. We're going to now practice this on some worksheets. And that will be our math for today. See you next time.